TV National News with Lisa LaFlaque, reporting tonight from London. Good evening from a country coming to terms with a queen, now more than ever, showing the inevitable fragility of her 96 years. The guest of honor at this unprecedented celebration, unable to attend her own party. Still, at today's Thanksgiving service, protocol was the priority over any personal family fractures. The only hint of discord was in the distance. The heir with a front row seat, the spare, now a second row royal. Once again, our Jubilee coverage begins with CTV's chief international correspondent, Paul Workman. Paul. Well, the party must go on, Lisa, as it did today, without the one person all of these celebrations were meant to honor. This clap of jubilee is an immensely joyous occasion and at the same time acutely unsettling. Watching and cheering the senior members of the royal family arrive at St. Paul's Cathedral today, yet sadly aware that health and aging forced the Queen to cancel and rest. I think everyone's slightly disappointed, but this might be a decision that Her Majesty has taken lightly. We want her well, we want her to keep going. Um, you know, it's a disappointment, yes, but we think it's one point that she keeps well. Every chauffeur's arrival came with a moment of anticipation, suspense, and then recognition. More jeering than cheering for British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Enthusiasm reached a peak with the arrival of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan. A solo, carefully orchestrated entrance that turned heads and grabbed attention. As the couple walked hand in hand down the aisle to their seats. But in the pecking order of royals, they were downgraded to a place well away from the rest of the family and never appeared to make contact. All of it rekindling sharp and lingering British opinion. I think they're very, very, very disrespectful to the Queen. I love the Queen. I think they should be supported towards her. And as a result of that, I don't like them. I love Meghan and Harry. I think they are brilliant couple. You know, they love each other. That's the main thing. The Queen's absence only made the service more poignant. As the nation's elite gathered in a remarkable tribute to her accomplishment, a reign symbolized by her well-known passion for horses. Your Majesty, we are sorry that you're not here with us this morning, but we are so glad that you are still in the saddle. The crowd missed the queen, but she Well, Lisa, as you know... With Prince Harry's attendance here, it was obvious the Queen wanted to involve all the members of her extended family. And now, the British are left guessing when they will see her again, Lisa. They're just going day by day. Okay, Paul Workman on Oxford Street tonight.